So this is a package specialization on the 11th of May. Um, so I, yeah, I had the first a generic topic on, on uh, timings of the meeting. I think it might be good to only have one meeting per week. Uh, so maybe I'll put it on, uh, given the amount of audience we have uh, on the call. Uh, yeah, probably it's wise to discuss it on Slack. And if we agree, then the question, uh, the second question is, of course, which one do we pick or keep? Is it the Monday or is it the Thursday? Do you guys have a preference? Good Monday. Yeah, I, I, I would prefer the Monday because it's kind of part of the sprint. I so typically when the sprint uh, ends and starts, <laughs> but it's always good. One, one, one would probably be better for me too. Monday's <laughs> better. Yeah, okay. But I'll, I'll ask it on Slack and then see how people react. Uh, uh, so that's one. If you then look, let me share the board. That's correct. Uh, where is the board? It helped. We are almost done. <laughs> so wait a minute. Let me share my screen. Ah, I think Bala is joining. So. Uh, I was just looking. So the PRs that we still have is, so that's, I think, Liam, your README uh, update. So I asked Akash to have a look because he owns, he did it. So I believe the changes are. I okay. know, yeah. it, it, was, it was minor phrasing. Yeah, it's minor like things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I want yeah. to have Akash uh, agree and then I'll approve and then this is done. Then I think. Uh, yeah. The DNN function, I think, uh, is the, I think I, this is actually ready, but we wanted to split uh, because there is some library code in there. Yes. So that's the only <laughs> so, remaining thing. Yeah. Sorry, I was distracted today. So uh, I <laughs> I haven't finished it yet, but uh, I've already split it, uh, the library and the function to, uh, into two pieces. And I also made uh, some polishing at for the, I started to assemble the full release one pipeline now that all of the functions are merged. Yeah. I can uh, assemble the whole pipeline that we agreed on, but I was distracted a bit today with, with family stuff. So I'm, I am I will still do uh, later today. Yeah, no, no, take care. It's uh, appreciated. Yeah, but so, we, so and then it's, it's kind of done. <laughs> Unbelievable. I done, I mean, uh, it's only done when it all works, of course, but uh, if I look to the board uh, at the moment, so yeah, this one will not be fully complete. I don't know what we, yeah, I have put a note into here. So the two things that we are still open, but is the things that ISTI we just discussed are these. And then of course it's the, the part uh, related to Edge Watcher and, and Bootstrap and stuff like that, but uh, so we have to wait. I don't know. It's the, yes, they are not on the call. Um, but yeah, we also updated the Docker. So I already built the functions yesterday with uh, Rado. So that's also now in place. So all the Docker files are up to date and the make files. That is one thing, Bala, that uh, we brought up with is uh, so with the team is that uh, today to build these functions or the specializer code, they are all individual make files in some of the subdirectories. So yeah. would it not be good to have a central make file that is being run when we check in or something? I, so I don't know how to do that. I, the reason why we didn't start it because I think it's something maybe also to involve Radi, Rado with. Um, so what we did with Rado or what I did with Rado is to prepare apparently you have to register which functions and the names uh, somewhere in the Docker Hub. I don't know why yet, but uh, that's what Rado did. So I gave him all the names of the functions. So he did that. Uh, I tested that last night, uh, yesterday. Um, 
but I think it would be good that every time, I think uh, in the other project, every time we do a check-in, we are going to build them, right? So so I think, I, I'm i wondering, should do we, is it something that Rabbe will do or is that something we will have to do? So, so right now, uh, so I also saw that, so individual directories have their own make files, right? And some, maybe their own targets to actually make file targets too. Yeah. I was I, I was reviewing uh, uh, Akash PR yesterday. I think I think probably uh, Akash had I'm not sure. Uh, uh, so it is the uh, I also had the same question. I mean, what is the best practice when uh, and is, do, when we have these multiple components? Uh, yeah. I, I was thinking probably having a single make file is helpful and push. So uh, yeah, I. I've I'm not a make file expert, but uh, John suggested it. And, and yes, that is, I, I agree. That is how I seen it work before that uh, to put a make file into the directory of each and every Go modules, and then also put one into the root of the uh, yeah. repo and the make file in the root of the repo will be, will call the make files of the individual modules. For example, if you say make test or make unit test in the root uh, repo, then it will call recursively the make test or make unit test of each and every module one by one. Yeah. I think that's a good approach. It can yeah. be done now. It is my, I have a quick and dirty solution that does something similar, uh, but without uh, having individual make files in Go modules, but we already agree. <laughs> agreed that we will have make files for each Go module anyway. So uh, it would make sense to call them from the uh, root one, from the central one. Okay, thanks, thanks, Esti. I think that makes sense to me, uh, right, right, ma'am? So probably we should do that. Yeah, I agree. I mean, see, the, I, the reason to do it hierarchically, in my view, is that sometimes you want to have a local make file for people to build it themselves, right? And test it themselves independently. Yeah. And then you have the central make files that can test it as a whole. Yeah. So that's why I think this uh, two-stage approach, I, or at least that's my perspective on it, is yeah. a, a good one. Yeah. yeah, I think that makes sense. I, and Vim, I had one question on the Docker image push. Yes. Uh, I, so for example, right, when we build a, a function, yes. uh, when we do a PR build a function, uh, so I think we have individual, I think even to build the images, we have targets, make file targets in individual uh, uh, individual directories. So what would Rado actually do? He will uh, to actually push it. D does he have to push them one by one? How how do we? So, so there is, wait, so there is, I. So th there is a few things that I have uh, or I am starting to understand or learn is that, first of all, I think Rado somehow in the Docker Hub is registering some image names, it seems. Okay. Okay. And probably this is to protect that you, we just push anything on the planet <laughs> to Docker Hub. I'm, I, that's my assumption. I asked him why he has to do that, but he, yeah, he, he was uh, busy with stuff. So he didn't answer yet, but he will, he will probably clarify. Okay. Uh, so that's one. Um, the second thing uh, that I believe will happen is uh, once we do a PR, I, once you do a merge or whatever, what he discussed yesterday, in my, my understanding is he, as part of the proud jobs, there will be uh, I, all of these images will be pushed to the Docker hub based on the build tag and uh, and then potentially a version number, I think, right? So there will be a version I, or a tag that is attached to these Docker images. But my understanding is that when every commit that we are going to do once this is set up, we'll push and build the images and push them towards the Docker Hub account that we have. So, so when we do a go build, right, will it automatically also build the Docker images uh, in this in 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 the Nephew repo, or do we have to do a, do we have to call some other target to build so, the Docker image? So when uh, wait, when we do go build, uh, it just builds it just builds the binary itself, right? So to what right. we do or what we I, I took the approach from Cube uh, Builder, so they have Docker version Docker built inside. So there so, is an yeah. 
So the pro jobs will call those targets. Yes. Okay, that's what I was saying. So I, uh, that's my my assumption. Targets. Okay, I I'm not. I would hope that uh, Rado does that because then it's uniform and then he yeah he can. Okay, so that the, means the top level make file will call the Docker build and Docker push of yeah. individual modules. Correct. Yeah. And he will call the top level one. Yes. Okay. So that that was overall my mental model. Just wanted to make sure it's not too crazy. <laughs> no, 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 no. And that's how I. I mean, we took the approach. I took the the approach of Q Builder uh, at the moment because okay, that's kind of a bit where we are trying to follow. I, I okay. So we took, and I think all our make files are all our make files are uniform. I believe is the right. I haven't. I think they are all the same, more or less. Uh, except, yes, except but the, except for the the name of the function yes but but if we want to call uh, them from the central make file then we will have to add new targets like uh, gosec target the linter uh, the test has to be a bit different to uh, save the coverage data and things like that yeah, so yeah but that's I, that's that's already taken care of right uh, Right now, no, but, but I, I, I'm saying that uh, yeah, that they, they are uniform. But uh, that the one of the advantages of this approach, if we have a special KRM functions that requires a special kind of testing, then okay. it can be tested differently if it is needed. Sure, sure, sure. But by default, they will be uh, tested the same. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. All right. Yeah, I think yeah, this is awesome. So, yeah, yeah. Yes, so, did, are, did I think, yeah, once, yeah, once ST is done, I think we are done basically. I done at least with the code. Yes, I, I, I was reviewing a couple of PRs too. I left a few comments yesterday. Uh, ST on that specializer thing. I, I, my understanding was it is uh, the end to end testing. It's probably there is a commit from the other function as well. That's the one comment I left. Yeah, we are, yeah, we agree to change yes. a little bit yeah. that uh, Bala. So we are going, that's the last thing we have to do, but uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah, it's, I, I, it's doing very well. That's what I was gonna tell in my TSC today. We are almost done in this, <laughs> in, in this, uh, in this uh, particular subgroup. Yes. It, it yeah, is on me totally. <laughs> By now, today we merged all of the other KRM functions except my work so i still have two pending it's okay it's okay it's okay <laughs> we have, we have but time. i hope yeah yeah but but i hope to finish soon so yeah and then uh i mean and, and also if you, you know we are also asking for additional time too right so yes 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 yes, yes. but okay i mean see uh we still have to test it all together and there will be corner yeah. case and failure case so there might be some bugs that comes out uh, left right and center right so but yeah, the, uh, the one one additional thing that we need to test, I think we, we might have already covered Wave in this particular thing is uh, the the upgrade scenarios, essentially scale out scenarios. Uh, how do we, so when it, when it has to scale out to the, when the user wants to expand say, uh, so my understanding is it's a user action, right? The user will express. Yeah. Normally, then, yeah. So we are we are just called by by porch basically, right? So every time there is a change in the package and they create a new revision, if you will, right? Yes. We will be called, and then we will do the work. So when it's per package, right? So for us, we just run per package. So there is no scale in or scale out. We just have, but we will run for each package in independently, right? Yeah, yeah. For example, if there is a scale out scenario for UPF. Yes. Uh, let's just take okay. that example. Then uh, that that particular package will be updated, and yeah. then all the function will run again. They will look at the diffing and stuff like that, right? So so that's one of the tests that we have to do. They look. So we have taken the provisions in place to do so. Each of the individual function in the testing that we have done, I have done some of my unit tests. Take have tested that, right? The question is, does it all work together? That we haven't fully tested. Yeah, I think that is one thing. Probably once we are done with all the board, we can focus on that because that's like right. we discussed yesterday, right? Workload cluster will also. I mean, they have to do some. Uh, they have to obviously reboot uh, on their side. Uh, if yeah, for now, yeah, 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 but yeah. 
I think at least from from the, from our group side, probably if you can just test it out, maybe once we are done with all this. Yeah, correct. So what I wanted to do is, I, from the moment we have all the baseline done, we I I wanted to focus on the the pipeline, the the testing on the pipeline, and ISTI has that in place. But I, we have to discuss the scenario that we have to validate in order to uh, I because see for us we get an input and we deliver an output, right? And what we have to test so we can do that independently of all the rest in my view yeah. and so we we could test i so this is I, once we have the pipeline either in place uh what we will do is start i for me the next call on monday will be focused more on the the scenarios that we want to cover right and yeah. ensure that we can i that yeah if there are problems that we find them and we correct them uh, independent of the complete end-to-end -end testing, right? So that's the whole idea. Yeah. So there might be still a few things coming out of that, but uh, yeah. All right. What is good for me is that we have the codes uh, and we have, and we spent quite some time on the libraries and stuff like that. There is also still some optimizations, I think, because when we started, uh, when is it uh, two months ago versus now, we learned also during the journey. So some of the libraries probably need some updates. Uh, but I, what my proposal is, let's first get it to work, right? And then we will optimize uh, some of these pieces that are in there to make it yeah, more optimized in terms yeah. of the libraries. But yeah, there is some... I. From where we started two months ago, we learned quite a lot. So this was a very, uh, I think, good uh, way of uh, working. And I think from where we are right now, I think there was a few things that I would do differently, but okay, that's part of the process, I guess. Uh, but we'll, yeah, we'll do that step by step. First focus on getting it to work, I think. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So, yeah. yeah, so I'd like to thank all the people uh, that have contributed here, uh, I mean, it was really great to get to where we are. But it's not done until it's done. So, <laughs> absolutely. And thank you, Vim, for you, you and uh, Isti's uh, leadership on this. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's all the people. Yeah. I mean, we have all the people. Yeah. All right. So, with that, I think we can close the call unless there is something. Oh. Uh -huh. Or Victor, do you want to, do we want to discuss a little bit? But that's more the package management uh, side of thing on the on the install. No, no, no that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> you have your agenda. Yeah, like, it's definitely a different. Uh, here, uh, I mean, before, yeah. because I, I'm. Uh, so, so I was... You're cutting off, I think, Victor. Like we have been attending the, the the open source summit that's why i'm in the hotel so let me yes. type in yeah yeah so victor i checked in uh the other uh, packages by the way uh, just before this call so we have uh, cluster api we have the provider and then the manifest for it and I also have cert manager separately. So uh, I was planning to to do a bit of test there to see, and then uh, use the Git and stuff like that. So, but yeah. So maybe let's discuss that uh, with John and stuff like that. All right. Thank you all. If there's no other, ah, okay. Then I think there's something in chat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I saw the big uh, NF. This also merged, so that's good NF generation. Yes, yes, yes. We merged. Uh, yeah, the only thing that is missing basically is the. I think it's just a split. I I I think Isti had some libraries in his code, and I think it's split, and it's related to your comment as well, uh, Bala, on the pipeline. So if we split that apart properly, yeah, and uh, we don't have these uh, interdependencies. Yeah, awesome. The pipeline is a draft PR. I just forgot to uh, mark it properly, so it is. It doesn't meant to be ready yet. 
Okay. Yeah, but I will. I so once we have, I focus on the DNN right now, uh, Isti, right? And then uh, I'll tomorrow we'll have a look at the pipeline. I haven't uh, looked at it yet, but uh, okay, how to get that done? Uh, okay, I'll stop as well. All right. Thanks, and talk to you later. Yeah. Thank you so much, Wim. Have a good one. Have a good one. Take care. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye.